Hey guys, welcome to Wild Blood's Adventure. Uh, we have the next video we're going to show you. We went to, where'd we go to? <laughs> ah! Don't hit the table. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Wild Blood's Adventure. Um, the next, uh, sorry, I almost did it. The next video we're going to show you, we went to, where was it? Mesa Verde? Yeah, we have, uh, National Park. Uh, another national park and had some good views on it, but it also had the your Aztec ruins, cliff dwellings. The cliff, cliff dwellings. Dwellings. Cliff, cliff dwellings. Cliff dwellings, yes. <laughs> had that in there. Um, uh, it was great to see. We got some great shots of it inside the video. Um, got some great shots of the mountain ranges. Um, that was our last stop in Colorado. Um, we're in New Mexico now. Um, but if you, I don't think we had any cliff dwellings before that we showed. I don't think we did. No, I don't think we showed the, the last one. That little one that we went yeah, to. Yeah, but there were some great views on there. Please like and subscribe. Um, I want to thank everybody for the viewers that are new to the channel. Um, we're still trying to build the channel up. We're going to be in New Mexico for the next couple weeks. We're going to visit roswell with aliens yes we're gonna see the sand dunes mm -hmm. um i'm not sure what else we're gonna be doing here but then we're off to arizona so we have a long journey ahead of us um trying to put at least two to three videos out a week depending on internet sites yeah that internet we have. doesn't always cooperate with us yeah so. um, right now we're at navajo lake state, state park. park um and we're probably going to start doing some updates again on where we're staying but we're loving state campgrounds um compared to just regular ones state parks i'm sorry uh where you can camp out uh, that and national you know parks um but i guess let's get ready to show them what we what we did let's do it see you in a little bit Hey guys, we're at Mesa Verde National Park. If you if you like national parks, I mean, you're getting your, your scenery of them in Colorado from us. Um, not everything is open here, um, but we're gonna do the drive-through. We have no idea what we're in for, but the first thing you see when you come in is that beautiful picture there. Um, so we gotta drive about 20 miles uphill, and that'll take us to um, a lot of caverns and stuff, I think. Uh, not 100% sure, but we will see. Stay tuned for more. There's the fam. <laughs> Whew, it's a 20 mile ride and we're about three miles in. And when I say that, <laughs> oh my gosh, we are so high up. It is insane. Here you go, ready? Look at this view. Oh. Uh. Look at that. Here you go, gateway to Mesa Verde. Wow. This is so beautiful. Uh oh, I think I hear family coming. What you think, girls? What you think? Sarah's a little scared, guys. Yeah, Sarah's a little scared today. See, you're safe here. This is this is better than our motorhome, I think, isn't it, baby? Yeah, because last night, what did we find in our bed? Mouse. A, a mouse. mouse in our bed. Ah, that it was, was so scary. At one o'clock. Yeah, in like the one o'clock in the morning. Shh, don't yell. It even Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. It was in a pillowcase moving around. Ugh, we let it go outside uh, afterwards, but yes, that was a little scary. But yeah, these, these views here are a little bit better than what we had you know, last night. But here's how you come up you know, on the side. Ooh. We are at the Montezuma Overlook. Let's see what we 
got here? Yeah, stay on the sidewalk. Ooh. Go back, dude. Let's see what's down here. What you think, baby? It's pretty. Pretty scary. Um, I'm far enough back. I'm okay right now. Let's go see what the sign says up here. You coming? Yep. Uh, uh. Nice lovely day, it was about 60 degrees outside. That feels good. Give you that brisk northeast. I don't like it. Yeah, look at that. Not sure if you can see that lake that she's talking about. It's way out there. You like that spot? That was a good spot. Let's go read the sign. Look, there's a trail. wind. Knife edge, what's that? As a traveler in 1892 described a trail on the ridge before you, this thing I guess, as the crinkly edge trail. 1911, just five years after the park was established, the trail became the knife edge road, a new section of the main park road. Although scenic, the road was narrow and steep and the instability of the soil made it difficult to maintain. Two years later, the park built a bypass through Moorfield and Prater Canyons when the first automobile trip was made in 1914. Right. Let me go see real quick. It's a little, little trail up here. Canyon stuff are awesome. These national parks. I hiked as far as I can hike, baby. No hiking beyond this point. Okay, we're on to the next. I had to pull off and get a great shot of this. Look at that. If you like scenery, no one else wanted to get out. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, we are at Park Point. It is the highest point in Mesa Verde. So let's go see what we got up here. And there goes Chi Chi. She's coming around the corner. Look how fast she is. She's going to the top. She's going to win. And I got my two girls back here. A little chilly out here. A little windy. Oh, just a little bit. We haven't lost her. Let's see when we get to the top. We're almost to the top. We're practicing for the rocky steps, right? Here we go. Woo! Woo! Got a little trail down there. <laughs> and we're running. Woo. All right, running. One thing that is awesome about this national park is they have like restrooms every like three miles. So, I mean, you can definitely, you don't have to hold it here compared to other places. The grandest view. Oh, someone with their RV coming around. Here you go. Here you guys, the grandest view. Ooh. I got some family coming. Look, for distance viewing, you can look out here. Nothing needs to be washed. Okay, so like I said, this is supposed to be the grandest view. But as you can market. see, it's all cloudy and dust. And that's from air pollution and everything. What you're supposed to see, if you get inside here, you have the Angel Peak. You have the Four Corners. You have the Ship Rock. 
And the ship rock is way over here to the right. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. And then Chuska Mountains, Carrizo Mountains, and then Sleeping Oot Mountain. Sleeping Oot Mountain is way in the distance over there. But all the smog and everything has stopped the view from coming through. So visibility is limited to 20 miles you know, now. Wow. You like it up here, Chi Chi? Yes, 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 yes. And you can look through some of these Yay! for distance viewing too. And see it. Okay guys, if you followed along, you know how high up we are. And we are now at the the Farview community of where they lived, some of them. Here. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't go in, you can just look. Not climb on the walls. Go straight through. Why did they build this? There you go. The center of town. <laughs> <laughs> the center of town. It's insane. all this stuff how they get all this stuff up here this high up oh no i don't know what this is Ugh. let's go see you can make it chi chi you can make it if you try okay let me read this pipe shine house The ancient farmers at Farview lived in an agriculture region which extended through the Four Corners area. The site Institution in 1922, name of uh, the pipe they found. Okay. The Pipe Shrine House. Because they don't want you to walk around and mess stuff up. Yeah, they don't want you to damage it. No, Preserved. God, it says do not enter, but there is no rules. Well, they're expecting people to obey the sign. Yes. You need to not go in it. That's right, you can't go in. I'll get it back there. Hold on. Can you get around? I don't know. Yeah, you can get around the other side. Okay. Let's see this. Woo! We are so high up for them to do all of this stuff. More families living here. Let's just let's see. We got a sign over here. Uh, just do not enter. The center of town. Look at here. See, you. coming home. I'm home. <laughs> Boom. What has happened to my house? <laughs> That's all the work it took, baby. I was like, this amazes me because we are so high up. And yeah. Had to Get all this up here. Wait. What's that thing? I have no idea. <sighs> hey guys, we got a wild horse just walking around out here. That is awesome. Things you see. Just driving through the park. Sarah wanted to see a wild horse too, so bad. <laughs> hey guys, you got the Navajo Canyon Overlook. Whoa. A little windy, huh baby? Guys, we're at the pit 
miles of wave loads. Not sure how far we have to walk. Oh gosh, Sarah scared me. I got my little handheld girl here. <laughs> if, if, you have, if you haven't noticed through the videos, you know, Sarah goes with me and Leah goes with mommy. <laughs> Let's see how long we got. Is that the house? I think that might be the I don't know. Or that can be the Find out when we get up here. I did see a fence when we start coming to here. Yeah. I saw fence and I saw that one. Because it's overlapping pit houses. Um, the first built sometime after 675 CE. Like most earlier pit houses, it had a small chamber. Today, charred post and bay clay floor. The presence of artifacts show it was destroyed by a fire, probably while still in use. There's more foundations of architecture here. Wow, look at this one, girls. these years. It's so big. Yeah. Now people have like spas or epic or hot know. tubs. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, everything, yeah. To live. Hey. Look, they're carrying okay, so the here's bunny. some landscape out. Side, they would go around. Ooh, let's see what we have to offer in here. This stuff is so high up, too. There you go. I love the rocks. Watch out, Leah. There was a ton of bones. Wow. Look at this. A new kind of building. What, baby? How dare you? Oh, wow. Look at this one. How would, like, the rain fill it up or something? Well, I guess because they have the thatched roofs. Yeah. Regional connections. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hole in here is. If it's a doorway, I wonder how small these people were. 
They were much smaller, remember? Mommy, that yeah, was square. Right. They didn't have that square right there is the fireplace. Yeah. Hey guys, we're at the Sun Point View. And you can actually see. Wow. Okay guys, we're at the cliff dwellings. And if you look, I'm not sure, straight ahead, dead center of the camera. There's some in there. Okay guys, here are the cliff dwellings. If you look dead ahead, right in the center, there's one there. There's about seven of their homes in here. It's amazing how they lived. Look at how high up we are. This is awesome. Then you go straight over. I'll show you the sign, but that's the main one. I wish I could zoom on this. Maybe can when it gets there. But that's the oak. Is that the oak tree house? No, that's the Cliff Palace. Cliff Palace. And that's that oak in there. Got the look in there? Is that good? I will. Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me finish this. Do you see people? Do you see people? <laughs> you can see some windows over there. Let me see. This is amazing. Let me see. I saw people. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. Wow, that is phenomenal. Jeez. I see right in there. Gosh. That's a zoom there. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. So here is all of them that are on here. The years of activity, everything. I see a car. Let me see. I see a car. Yeah. Wow. I just saw cars. Pictures don't do it justice. Hey guys, this is a closer picture. This is the oak tree house straight ahead. Maybe you can see that one. It's a long walk up. I don't know how Get they your did house. it. Yeah, I don't know how they did that stuff. But that is Amazing. awesome. Yeah, you can see. I guess there's maybe some more. You know, down. Further down. Oh yeah, yeah you can see. Yep. When you have the little cavern overhook, it's like they carved it out. Or something with the over. It's like a ceiling. Or they just found yeah found like, yeah went in but yeah here's storage rooms retaining walls plazas the oak tree house 1200 ce <laughs> there's an awesome shot of one there wow Let's see if i can get another one here but here's the other shot right here look at this I'll put in my phone too. Whew. These these are rich folks over here. Wow. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's awesome. Or if you can see it behind me, get a nice shot. Of the visual there. My head doesn't take it all up, hopefully. Let's see the wife. Ugh. Why? Because I didn't bring the real camera. Look at phone? Yep. I took myself when I do that too. Wow, that's beautiful.